A first course in graph theory. With science fiction, our Nawaz is here. This lecture is about common classes of simple graphs. Null graph, complete graph, path graph, cycle graph, bipartite graph, complete bipartite graph, regular graph, star graph, Peterson graph, and wheel graph. Now, what is the null graph? A graph having no edge is called null graph. Means, edge set is empty, denoted by n for n vertices. n can be greater than or equal to 1. A null graph is disconnected with n components. Because there is no edge, so all the vertices are disconnected with each other. And n1 is called trivial graph. That is the graph of only one vertex. Some other examples are N2, a graph of only two vertices, N3, a graph of three vertices, and N4, a graph of only four vertices. All the vertices are disconnected between each other because there is no edge. Complete graph. Complete graph is a graph in which every two vertices are adjacent. In other words, a connected graph in which every two vertices are connected, denoted by Kn for n vertices, n can be greater or equal to 1. K1 is the graph of one vertex that's equal to n1. K2 is the graph of two adjacent vertices. K3 is the graph of three vertices which are adjacent between each other. And K4 is the graph of four vertices in which every two vertices are adjacent and a connected graph of five vertices in which every two vertices are connected is also complete graph. In a complete graph Kn where n is greater than or equal to 2, each vertex has degree n-1. In a complete graph of n vertices, the size of the graph is equal to half of n into n-1. Diameter of the complete graph of n vertices is equal to 1. Path graph A graph which has just a single path is called path graph. It is denoted by Pn where n is greater than or equal to 2. In other words, a graph Pn of order n is called a path graph if it is of the form vertex V1 is adjacent with vertex V2, V2 vertex is adjacent with vertex V3, and so on. Vertex Vn, where V1, V2, V3, and so on, Vn are distinct vertices. Remark, size of a path graph of n vertices greater than or equal to 2 is n-1. For example, P4 is the path graph of four vertices. P5 is the path graph of five vertices and Pn is the path graph of n vertices as shown in diagram. Cycle graph. A closed path graph is called a cycle graph. A cycle graph of n vertices is denoted by Cn where n is greater than or equal to 3. A cycle graph can be defined as a graph Cn of order n and size n is called a cycle graph if it is of the form vertex V1 adjacent with vertex V2, adjacent with vertex V3, adjacent with so on with vertex Vn and then vertex Vn is adjacent with vertex V1 where V1, V2, V3, so on, Vn are distinct vertices. For example, a cycle graph C3 is the form of connected graph of three vertices as shown in this fig. And C6 is the cycle graph of six vertices. Here, two forms of C6 graph are shown in two diagrams, which shows that there is only one closed path. So, these are the examples of cycle graph. Remark, Cn is a 
bipartite if and only if n is even. Bipartite graph. A graph G is a bipartite graph, simply by graph, whose edge set can be divided into two parts, x and y, in such a way that each edge of G has one end in x and one end in y. A bipartite graph can be denoted by BMN, means bipartite graph with set x having m vertices and set y having n vertices. The order of the graph is m plus n. Remark. Cn is a bipartite if and only if n is even. Here, a cycle graph C6 is shown in the diagram, which is also a bipartite graph. Second remark is, any pn means path graph of n vertices is a bipartite if we pick every alternate vertex to be in the same set. And a graph G is bipartite if and only if it has no odd length cycles. The diagram of B23 can be of this form, which shows that two red vertices are in one side as set of X and other three blue vertices are in other side as set of Y and also easily can be seen that every edge in the graph has one end in X and the other end in Y. So this is a bipartite graph and B42 is an other example of bipartite graph that shows four vertices are in one side as set of X and two vertices are in the other side as the set of Y and every edge joins the vertex of set X to the vertex of set Y. So this graph is bipartite. In bipartite graph there is no edge between any vertices of same set. All the vertices of same set or same side are non-adjacent with each other. They are adjacent only with the vertices of other set of other side. Method to check a graph for bipartiteness. To check a graph for bipartite, we make a proper coloring of a graph. It means that a coloring of vertices of a graph G is said to be proper if no two adjacent vertices have the same color. In this method, the minimum number of colors used for proper coloring of G, which is called the chromatic number of G, denoted by X of G, if X of G is equal to K, which is greater than or equal to 1, then G is a apartheid graph or a multipartite graph. For example, let we see the graph C8, which is a bipartite because a proper coloring can be made in the cycle graph of 8 vertices. By the method of making proper coloring to the vertices of the graph in such a way that no adjacent vertices have same color and minimum color should be used. In C8, proper coloring can be made by only two odd colors as shown in diagram which are red and blue. So all the vertices of this graph can be divided into two parts or two sets X and Y which gives a bipartite graph. C7 is the cycle graph of 7 vertices. If we make proper coloring of this graph, then minimum 3 colors are used because if less than 3 colors are used, then 2 adjacent vertices becomes having same color. So this graph C7 is not a bipartite, but it is three partite or 
tripartite. Complete bipartite graph. A bipartite graph with parts X and Y is a complete bipartite graph if each vertex of X is adjacent with every vertex in Y is called a complete bipartite graph. The second definition is a graph G is called a complete bipartite graph if the vertex set V can be portioned into two disjoint subsets V1 and V2 such that every line joining the points of V1 to the points of V2 if V1 contains M points V2 contains M points then the complete bipartite is denoted by K M N Examples can make easy to understand complete bipartite graph K42 is the complete bipartite graph because every vertex of the one side of the graph is adjacent with the every vertex of the other side of the graph we see second complete bipartite graph K23 then graph of this example shows that every vertex of one side of the graph say set of vertices x are adjacent with all the vertices of other side y and graph of k33 is also complete bipartite as already shown in diagram we see that every vertex of one side is adjacent with every vertex of other side of the graph now also we can say that remark is the complete graph k1n is called a star graph the order of the complete bipartite graph kmn is equal to m plus n and the size of the graph kmn will be m cos n now we define regular graph if all the points of G have the same degree R then G is called a regular graph of degree R in other way if we define del is the minimum degree of vertex V belong to graph G and delta is the maximum degree of a vertex V belong to graph G then in a regular graph del g will be equal to delta of g means that all vertices of a graph g have the same degree a regular graph of degree 3 is called a cubic graph as shown in fig regular graphs of degree 2 are also can be seen by the diagram as shown here that shows every vertex has same degree 2 star graph a star graph can be defined as a complete bipartite graph k1n for n greater than or equal to 1 is called a star graph it is denoted by sn where n is the number of vertices in the graph a star graph S5 is equal to the complete bipartite graph K14 as shown in fig and S8 is the star graph of 8 vertices which is equal to K17 the diagram of S8 graph shows that seven non-adjacent vertices are adjacent with one vertex which is a star graph now we define a special type of graph peterson graph peterson graph is a connected graph of order 10 and size 15 peterson graph has the shape as follow given in the diagram this type of graph is called Peterson graph and wheel graph can be defined as a graph which can be obtained 
by joining one vertex with the vertices of a cycle graph then that form graph will be wheel graph a wheel graph can be denoted by two form wn or w1n wn is the same as k1 plus cn minus 1 or w1n is the same as the graph k1 plus cn for example w7 which can be seen by the diagram here we see wheel graph w7 is equal to k1 plus c6 when we join a cycle graph of six vertices to a k1 graph then w7 a wheel graph is obtained and another example of wheel graph w17 can be seen by diagram it means that w17 is equal to k1 plus c7 in diagram we see seven vertices of a cycle graph are joined with one vertex of k1 then the formed graph will be the wheel graph w17 so i hope you understand these common classes of simple graph thanks for watching